all right all right all right we're back with a brand new video guys uh pe open round one versus ed ben uh best of three pe open round one uh hope you guys you enjoyed this one i was gonna record while i was playing but i was just like nah man uh i felt like the nerves were gonna get me going into this so i was like let me just record the replays of it because i knew i was gonna uh get some good games in so uh today's team i bought is the go guys team in the video i used the go guys obviously uh with the ghost spam because i was like this guy is definitely not bringing any ghost resists because who brings ghost resists so i was like it's gonna be a pretty good team versus him and he brings this zatu screen team which i think i've seen before probably some like team building fred team or something because i've definitely seen this team before he didn't build any of the teams he used so I was just like calm so he has Robombi and I'm just like I don't want this thing setting out webs whatsoever so uh, you're gonna see how I play this game out oops I do not want music on I do not want music on cool so he leaves Robombi and I lead Helio list because I knew that was coming out he doesn't kill me then but I go for volt switch and it does 86 so if I could t-bolt that was a kill but I was expecting him to be sashed or something so I bring in go guys because I was just like uh, I want to shadow sneak and uh, actually get a kill but he anticipated that and went into turn it and I'm just like this one's going to set up and it's going to be very dangerous so I'm going to go lantern as he doubles out into uh, Zatu there for some reason to go up a light screen but I vote switch out on uh, the Zatu and I bring in my ghoul guy small because Poltergeist again has no switchings on his side he's definitely not a Silver Valley form that resists ghost. He's not normal Silver Valley nor is he Silver Valley dark so I have nothing to worry about so I kill Robombi there and he brings his Kabutops here and I do 87, almost kill Kabut Ops there actually with Poltergeist because this one is just too strong. So he misses the first Stone Edge, which actually was pretty nice for me because that would have two it killed me. So I managed to get a kill on Kabut Ops. And it's only turn seven and two of these ones are down. So it's brilliant. So he brings in Silver Valley Steel and I'm just like, I'm just going to click versus this as well because you do 69, which is pretty good. And he takes out my Ghoul Geist and I was like, no problem then. I bring a silver Eddie ghost and uh he decides to crit me and outspeed me with a multi attack uh speed tie so i lose that one and i'm just like okay that's just life in it so he goes turtonator and i'm like i need to actually get damage up on this thing because light screen's running out soon so lantern can revenge kill reliably so uh he sets up shell smash and obviously i'm just like let me just set reggie rock i don't need reggie rock this game uh i need a free switching on my lantern so he goes he actually just risked the fire blast miss which is crazy from him because I could have just killed him there. So he goes for Draco, does 82 to Lantern, but Lantern's a bulky dude, so that's not going to happen. So I kill Tertinator there, and uh, I'm just hoping I don't lose to Toxicroak. Uh, my mindset was like, uh, if it's nasty plot, uh, all of my Pokemon are chipped. Uh, Whimsicott doesn't Oko Toxicroak with anything. I was not running Psychic, I'm not Specs, so... Moonblast would take KO, but I'll get killed by like Poison Stab, obviously. So I'm just like, Vacuum Wave is going to kill this. I'm uh, Silver Valley Ghost is my wing con, and yeah, basically is what I was thinking. So he goes for the Reflect here, and uh, I managed to do 90. I'm just like, it's time to bring in Heliolisk because, again, I don't kill uh, to uh, what do you call it, Toxicroak with a multi attack at uh, full HP. And I'm just like, this one's going to kind of just kill everything on my team. So I was like, cool uh, i'm not gonna do that so toxic crooks in and he goes for vacuum wave as i expected him to go through and obviously he's elo and um multi-attack can't kill with a reflect top obviously so i need to chip this toxic crook down with my whimsical with a moon blast does 44 but i die there i'm just like cool so i'm gonna bring in my lantern here because i need this one to die as well to have life or uh, chip so at this point he's at 27 and multi-attack definitely gets the kill for me here so uh, I managed to beat him game one, so that's pretty solid. So, first game's done, uh, close one there, but uh, Ghost Spam pulls me through because, again, no Ghost Resist and, is, and you're in for a bad time. So, game two, uh, you, you already saw the result, but I might as well just go over it in it. <laughs> I mean, if you watch my game, uh, only like Drud and uh, Rooney, I guess, watched my uh, game, but anyway. Game two, I bring my Kangaskhan team from the Kangaskhan video, of course. Maynetric is here yet again, and you'll see why Maynetric was the MVP of this series. And Drud was like, I, I linked the team to Drud, and this guy was like, not the Maynetric team. And I'm just like, Maynetric actually goes ham on his team. Have you seen his team? Like, Maynetric kind of slaps it around. So, here I'm just like, cool. Scarf Maynetric, I've Drud, this is a team that Tap built and he uploaded it onto the team building thread and the PU forum or something. So this guy just took his team, obviously. And I've already seen the team before. I knew what I was capable of. So I was just like, cool. We're going to 
lead off with main electric because he's pretty strong versus his team i've all switched on the silver Addy steel and he's uh special defensive so i've also just doesn't do too much but he sets off a rain dance i'm just like five turn rain brilliant so he part in shots and i just u-turn because i'm just like there's no reason for me not to u-turn not u-turning there's a misplay so i bring in my main electric obviously and kingler has to swap out as he goes into shinotic and i'm just like cool it's time to go kangaskhan because i'm gonna get a kill here so i was expecting the silver the uh steel thing but i still get double edge anyway because i get a kill on shinotic anyway so he brings in polyroth and i'm just like cool this is like some belly drum shenanigans but he substitutes i'm just like okay uh this is kind of dangerous but i always have a scarf made in the back so and he has no priority on the physical side so i was just like main electric always comes through anyway so he goes for the non-stab ice punch does 55 to me doesn't even do any sort of like meaningful damage but he brings out silver the steel again and he part in shots but here i think i just u-turn because again why wouldn't i u-turn and um uh, I decided to go Robombi here just to get free damage on this uh, Helio Lisk, but he does. I, I wasn't expecting the Scarf. I forgot that it was Scarf Helio Lisk, but either way, my play was to U-turn here into Main Etric and uh, threaten this thing out. So he goes to Silver Addy Steel, and I was just like, I can't click Overheat in any circumstance because that will just allow Kingler to set up on Agility and kind of just beat my entire team. So I click t bolt here. I go for another t bolt because I'm like, this one doesn't do any damage to me with multi attack anyway. But he put in shots again and goes out into his own helio -lisk. so i'm just like cool i'm gonna set my rebombi here see what he goes into so that happens and he goes charizard and i'm just like main electric comes in again as you can see main electric gets another kill uh two kills i think i think he's gotten two kills no mess for it got he killed charizard and Kangaskhan de dealt with uh, Shinotic. So, but as you can see, Main Electric is doing me well, chipping down uh, Silver Lee Steel and uh, killing Charizard. So, Main Electric, guys, isn't that bad? Like, it's bad, but it's not that bad. So, he goes to use Scarf Helo List. I'm just like, I need to retain health on my uh, Main Electric. But he goes for Hyper Voice and manages to do a 2 hit kill with my Serena, which is kind of bad. I was just like, I can't bring out Gigalith under any circumstance because that just allows Kingler to set up and. Uh, adamant king uh, he was adamant so thank the lord that uh main extra can actually outspeed him like if he's adamant but i was just like just in case he was jolly uh scarf main electric will lose and i basically lose the game so uh, he brings out uh silver still on the kangaskhan crit did not matter at all and uh kangaskhan gets a second kill this game and uh here i decided to stay in because i always live one for full hp but not even full HP, just where the HP I was at, actually. And he manages to crit me there, which kind of sucks. But because uh, I would have killed him there with double edge and uh, probably would have not died to recoil. And then I killed Kingler in one hit with double edge as well. So I was like, uh, I could have won the game in two turns. But nope, I have to play uh, a couple more turns in order for me to get my win. So I don't have to go into a third game. So uh, Mesprit lives. I go for the U-turn. And obviously, I was playing around the fact that main electric can kill with t-ball at this range uh helio disc is at and i was just like i'm surprised you turned 30 uh how much did you turn it 30 exactly on the dot so even though mesprit doesn't i mean mesprit's attacks are still base 105 which is pretty strong and uh yeah we managed to do some good damage i was praying he didn't crit me here because i would have just made uh this game a lot longer than it needed to be and uh yeah so he brings out Kingler, and obviously Kingler can't do anything to a Scarf main electric or even uh, normal non-Scarf main electric because you don't outspeed and you one-shot it with electric stab. So yeah, that is the series against Zed Ben. We managed to pull the win for round one. Hopefully we get a more interesting opponent for round two. Maybe someone that builds their own teams. I, I want to see something interesting, especially with uh, the bands or whatever council are trying to do with uh, the like Mons like Klawitza, Kingler uh Rabombi Toxicroak I think those are the ones they're testing so yeah that is it for this video guys leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy this one uh uh wish me luck for PE Open you know I would highly appreciate if you guys leave a like down even subscribe you know um being more consistent with the PE videos uh, I will be a bit more busy but I'll try and get some more laddering videos out for you guys I know you guys enjoyed those ones so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace